Hey hey makeup enthusiasts, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and today I'm doing a review on the NYX Stay Matte Not Flat Powder Foundation. Now today I've teamed up with a number of other YouTube channels. We've all got different skin tones and skin types and we're all providing you with a review of this powder foundation and to let you know how it goes on our skin. For reference, I am Mont Blanc in the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I also have the Classic Ivory in the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I am the color 105 Classic Ivory in the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. If you match to any of those foundations, we most likely will have the same skin tone. The color that I picked up in this powder foundation is SMP01 Ivory. Now the foundation is $18.95 and here in Australia, you can pick it up at Priceline. NYX is a Priceline and Target exclusive, but this foundation is only able to be purchased at Priceline from what I found in my town. This foundation in Australia, you can only purchase in five shades from what I found at my Priceline. And they're all, in my opinion, very light colors. So in Australia, you may have difficulty picking up this foundation if you do have a darker skin tone I'd say anything darker than probably a light to medium skin tone would have difficulty finding a match in this powder foundation it comes in a 7.5 gram compact looks like this you can open it up there's a mirror so a decent sized mirror if you want to touch up on the go the powder is there and then underneath here is the comes with the little sponge now I did try this powder on its own and I did not like the coverage that it gave me I personally like a medium to full coverage and this in my opinion barely gave me a light coverage so I found it hard with the dry sponge to build it up and found that it didn't really give me the coverage that I was looking for I also tried it with a wet sponge and I found with a wet sponge, it, it felt like I was painting putty on my face and I, I just couldn't couldn't get it, it spread out evenly and it looked very patchy on my skin. And once again, it, it was a better coverage than a dry sponge. But as I said, I had patches all over my face and it, it just felt really thick and like I was painting it on my face with the sponge. I did also try it by itself with a brush and once again, I still couldn't get that medium coverage that I'm, that I'm looking for. In the end, I tried it over a foundation. Today, I'm wearing it over my L'Oreal True Match foundation. And in this one, I've got the shade W2. I used it with an uh, Real Techniques setting brush to put it under my eyes. I did use it under my eyes today to set my concealer and I'm quite happy with how it's looked. Face powder, I set it with the Hakuhodo B002 brush and I just dusted that all over my face. So I do find with using this, this foundation over a powder, uh, sorry, over a, a liquid foundation, it does take for me, this is like a medium foundation. I find that it takes the medium foundation to a full coverage foundation when you apply this over the top. I'll cut through to a demo now and also include an update at the end of it with some of my final thoughts. So
the rest of my makeup off and I'll be back in a second. So there you have it guys, I've finished my makeup, done my hair, whatnot. I will zoom you guys in to have a quick look at how the powder is sitting on my face and then I'm gonna go about my day as, as they say. I'm going to film a few other videos and do my housework and I will check back in later. I'm going out tonight, probably be home pretty late. So I will check back in when I get home and show you how it's worn after a good couple of hours. But I will just come in close, nice and close, so I can show you what what it's looking like from afar. My my skin's looking pretty pretty flawless, I guess you could say. It's not really emphasizing anything from a distance. If you do get up close though, I'll come in a little bit closer, like around my chin here where I've got some some redness and some pimples and stuff it's kind of emphasizing that but that's pretty standard around my nose it's probably chunking up a little bit my cheeks here it's looking pretty standard for a powder and same with my my forehead there the powder itself is is very nice to apply i have tried this on its own because it is actually a powder foundation i think it looks best when it's uh, applied as a like setting powder I guess you'd say and because it's because it's actually a powder foundation I do find that it adds that extra coverage that I like to have with my foundations it's a nice powder to apply it does come with a sponge if you want to apply it as a powder foundation but I did find with the dry sponge I wasn't getting enough Co coverage for my liking and then with a wet sponge it felt like I was almost trying to apply paint to my face it was it was very like chunky and it gripped to my face and just didn't apply very smoothly so that's why I've found just apply my liquid foundation and apply this over the top as a setting powder I will check back in in a couple of hours and show you how my face is looking Hey guys, I'm back. So it's been about eight hours that I've had my makeup on for. So I'm just going to do a bit of a blot and a reapply of the powder just to see how it goes after reapplying. Um, see if it cakes up or anything like that. So I'm just going to use some blotting sheets and try and get rid of some of the oil because as you can see, I'm extremely shiny right now. There's a lot of oil on my chin and my cheeks and my forehead, which is usually where I tend to get quite oily after like an eight hour period. It doesn't seem to have broken up. I'll just come in a bit closer and just show you. On my cheeks and my chin, it's broken up a little bit on my chin, but on my cheeks, it hasn't broken up. It's just gotten really oily and shiny. And same with my forehead. It hasn't it hasn't broken up as such. It's just gotten quite shiny. So I think it's done quite a good job at controlling the oil to a, to an extent. And it's still stayed quite quite natural and flawless. I think it's just the oils kind of sunk into this to the powder and not broken up. So I still think it looks quite nice. After the eight hours, it's just very shiny. That's that's all. And I'm really happy with, with how it's looking. I don't mind if my face gets oily like this. It's just when my foundation starts breaking down and, and breaking apart that I don't really like the look of, obviously for reason, <laughs> obvious reasons. Um, so I'm just going to use a blotting sheet and grab some of the oil off my face. I think the most notable thing about this is it seems to make your foundation quite a high coverage and flawless but it doesn't make it look cake face in in my opinion and so i'm just going to grab the powder and my powder brush again and just going to dust this on over just to see what it looks like after being blotted and powdered just to i guess what's the word Um, my brain's not functioning this late at night. To mimic, that's the word I'm looking for. To mimic blotting your face throughout the day and reapplying the powder. 
So it's definitely gotten rid of that shine and as the compact says, stay matte, not flat. It's definitely mattified my face again. I do think though around, I've got a few tiny little dry patches on my lip, top lip here at the moment. It seems to have emphasized that and in, in this top lip area, it seems to have looked, it seems to look a tiny little bit cakey just due to, due to the few dry patches I've got. And on my chin here, you can see how it's kind of looking like it's breaking up a little bit. I always do find though on my chin because I touch my face a lot and I lean on my chin a lot that it's it's the first place for my foundation to break down. My final thoughts on this. Do I recommend it? Yes, I do. I think this is a great powder. I think it's great value. As I said, it's it's $18.95 in Australia from Priceline and you get 7.5 grams. I think it's a great little sturdy compact. It gives you a, a really flawless finish on your skin. As I said, it looks great over liquid foundations, not so much on its own. So you definitely can use it to help build up that extra coverage that you want from your liquid foundations. I think it's a, a, a great powder and I definitely recommend it. If you want to see more about this powder, check out all the other girls' videos about the powder. That way you can see what it looks like on other skin tones and other skin types and hopefully between all of us you might be able to find somebody that has quite a similar skin tone or skin type to yourself and find out if if it's a great product for your skin type for reference my skin is quite combination at the moment probably leaning more on the oily side as you saw before from all the shine on my face but as I've said, I do have a few dry patches on my face at the moment, uh, like on my lip area at the top here, but mainly, mainly quite oily the rest of the area. So it's, I find it's great for keeping the oil at bay through the day. And it's, it looks quite nice, I think, after touching up. I don't think it looks, looks that bad unless you're looking at me really closely. It looks just as good as when I first applied it in, in my opinion. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried this. Go over to all the other girls' this channel, check their videos out, let them know that you came from my channel and like and subscribe this video if you want to see more reviews like this and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching makeup enthusiasts. Bye!